Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. So at the moment I am packing to go for the first bit of my basic training for the reserves. I am going in a few days time and it is only for a weekend and the way it works is in the reserves you like do a weekend, you do a week, then you do a few weeks. So this is just the weekend but you still have to take all your kit anyway and then shortly after that I'm going on the week so it's all going to be very like bam bam bam. So I'm going to pack everything up right now uh, ready for tomorrow when I have to take everything to my battalion. So right now I've just laid all my kit out. So here is all like the little knickknacks I suppose and then snacks and stuff that I've had to buy and then this is the majority of my issue kit and then I've also got my uniform here that needs to be ironed this is has been ironed i've also got more stuff in the tumble dryer so the job really is to get all of this stuff into my suitcase i would use a hold all but i don't have one it's gonna be a suitcase and i'm just like how the heck am I gonna get everything in here? And I'm also trying to think logically, like what is the best way to put everything in? Because when I take it to battalion, it's gonna all be checked anyway. I just don't know what order to just put it all in here because it's gonna be very Tetris and it's also gonna be very heavy. Those of you that watched my getting kit video will recall me having to lug this about London and moaning about it. So it's gonna be part two of that. I definitely have not got this down to a final. I will hopefully by the end of my third stint of training, but at present, no clue the best way to approach this. So I'm gonna pack all my issued kit first because that's the difference between the reserves and the regs like when we go on our training we have all of our issued kit whereas in the regs you get it when you arrive so i'm gonna pack all my issued kit i think first and that's gonna block off hopefully half of this suitcase well, i say half if it takes up three quarters of it i'm gonna cry uh and then i'm gonna talk you through all of the additional stuff that we have to buy and like basically everything else that i'm bringing and that'll give you an idea of all the stuff that if you're going on basic training you would probably need right this is gonna be tetris I'm also listening to the Blossoms right now. I've got so into the Blossoms. That's pretty much all the issue kit done. As you can see, I kind of have roughly managed to get it in half, although it's depressing that a smock literally takes up like, I don't know, a good quarter of the case. I also have more kit at the battalion. That's just like in my locker there. So that'll be fun to figure out a way to sort that out. So now I guess to talk you through the little bits of kit that aren't clothing that we basically have to take. So first thing, paracord. I think this is about 25, 30 feet, which should be enough. This is pretty much just for when we're putting up the bashes. So it's basically like effectively a tarpaulin tent uh, and we put it up with this or you can put it up with bungees. So you have to have bungees as well. You do get issued bungees. I think I have two that I've been issued, but you need to buy more. I just bought a pack of six that are three different sizes. Okay, so bungees, paracord. I think I'm gonna shove these in the outside of my case because then I can just put them in my Bergen. 10 pegs, because you have to have these for the basher as well. So I've got 10 of those taped together so I don't jingle jangle and lose them. Also got padlocks. I chose to go for combination rather than a key because I don't want to be having multiple keys you potentially lose. Uh, so that's just a nightmare. Combination makes life easier. Counterweight for my helmet. Right, hangers. I've just got six. So now I'm going to talk you through the med kit stroke everything else kit. I've just shoved it in one Tupperware because it can fit. So uh, basically anything and everything is in here. And then if I were to go on exercise, I'll just take out what I don't need. Sewing kit. I hate that they call that a housewife kit, like the sexism is unreal, but sewing kit. Lighter for disinfecting needles if I've got blisters and also for burning off paracord, stuff like that. Nail clippers because I always will break my nails and then they'll bother me. Got a bin liner, spare toothbrush, plasters, multiple different sizes. This is like getting into the med kit stuff now. Got zinc oxide tape, uh, basically really good for blisters. Put it on anything and it stops it rubbing. Then I've also got eye drops for the long nights and also I wear glasses. Also got, this is what I got today that I wanna put in the med kit, my brew friend, paracetamol. I actually got ID'd for this today, which just like made me feel great. And she looked shocked as well. She's like, 99? I was like, yep. She's like, wow, I thought you were 15. I was like, I will take that, sort of. That's literally it, that's my med kit. 
spare disposal razor, I've got hand gel, spare hair nets, donut, although if you watch my hair video you'll know I never do donuts, can't really be bothered, uh, and then basically an assortment of grips and bobbles in here, that's why I've had this little container for about five years, uh, and then spare batteries for my head torch, wherever I put that. Uh, so yeah, then that's pretty much everything in here. Oh, and also on this topic, Sudocrem and petroleum jelly, your best friends, literally your best friends for preventing blisters, bergen rub, pff, anything really. So now to get this all back in my little, little tub. I've forgotten how I put this in actually. <laughs> Okay, that is my med kit, everything kit, hair kit, all in one. Also have my boot cleaning kit because in the reserves we don't get issued our like drill shoes or anything like that. You literally just need the brown polish. I'll show you basically what's in here. It is literally the most condensed boot kit ever, especially because the stuff that I'm going to be doing in the first two thirds of the course isn't really going to be super muddy or anything like that so basically all i've got in here is on off brushes uh, a bit of like flannelette stroke uh dust cloth that i use for when i'm like like bullying them and some kiwi polish and then here this is just like a spare little zip bag from some of that boot cleaning kit when i bought it chin strap for the helmet then we've got a little ear defenders for when we're on the range stroke if someone snores in my room. Multi-tool, assortment of knives and tools. One side, the other side a little saw, screwdrivers and a bottle opener. That's pretty much the combi tool. Also have a headlight. You have to have one that has the red setting as well as white. This one is actually pretty darn good because it goes up to 400 lumens which is basically bright, bright air. You can't see it, I guess. No, you can, that is bright. If you're gonna get one, try and get one with like the tilt on it. Cause if you're trying to map read and stuff like that on exercise, you don't want one that's like up here and you've got to like flick it down. Other random bits, I've got cutlery. You get mess tins, but you don't get cutlery. When I bought this, it just came in a nice little case. So I was like, oh, we'll keep that. I have this pencil case that I literally had in high school. I never understand as well why people take like a pack of 10 pens and pencils. I'm like, you're, yeah, I know in normal basic training you're there for like 14 weeks, but you'll just never use them. Like, especially when you consider I used the same pen for two years at university, like for everything that I wrote. So all I've got in here, and this is basically making up for every eventuality is just two of everything. So just two black pens, two Sharpies, and then two pencils, Big one for normal classrooms and then a little one for when that we're on exercise. Highlighter, try not to get green or blue because like as well if you're highlighting the map or on the map, you can't really see green. And then little pencil sharpener. Then I've also got a waterproof notebook that I will try and slap my name and number on that. Graph paper too, which I quite like rather than lines. I know everybody also recommends right in the rain. But they're like six pounds for a pad. No, like, no, they're literally, why would you, like, it's so extortionate. Then I also have my little uh, compression sleeve, just because I'm, my knee is a bit, you know. You know the drama, you know the drama. My car, what's left is all of the heavy duty. Oh, I really don't wanna get these out because it's gonna be hard to get them back in. Because your kit needs to be waterproofed. So these are the ones that I use. Basically it's four different sizes. Amazon's finest. Basically I've got four little ones, like this size, the size up, and then these ones are more like for your clothes. So four of those, and then four of these, which are basically like A3 size, I think. Uh, that's pretty much it. And I've got snacks. For the week, when we go away for the week, I'm gonna take so much more than this. I think I'm just gonna take a whole carry back. Protein bars are really good. They've got like 10 grams of protein, 11 grams of protein in them. These cereal bars. And these bars, these are like more like a treat because they're like, they've got chocolate on them. Can I taste like a Terry's chocolate orange? So they are so good as like a little snack. Do you know what? There's actually way more room in here than I thought there would be. You have to buy so much of this yourself. So it does cost a small fortune. I will warn you, like I think all the stuff that I bought and realistically, if you were going obviously for full basic training, you'd need so much more stuff. You'd probably spend an extra like 30 pounds on just toiletries and stuff that I'm not gonna take. But like a loan of what I bought collectively, it's probably like 
90 pounds maybe a hundred but i feel like then like once you have it you have it so i've just looked through the kit list basically the only things that i need to pack in addition to what's here is all the toiletries so effectively my toiletries i'll list them here it's just going to be shower gel a little container of shampoo and conditioner although i might not do the shampoo and conditioner i might just just live it with shower gel because it's only going to be a couple of days and quite frankly my hair can cope. Face wash, black flannel, soap, non-scented, deodorant, toothpaste. I think that's it. I'm probably going to take some tampons as well because they just come in handy for literally everything. That's it. That's pretty much my uh, beauty kit, <laughs> if you will. And then obviously got my iron that I need to iron on my kit with because my tumble... That literally just leaked so much water onto my legs. So pretty much we're done i say we i mean i've still got loads of stuff to do me <laughs> but to be fair that's that's quite empty like there's a room much all fit in there and then i've just got my kit that i'll be wearing down there okay so that's pretty much it suitcase which is surprisingly actually quite light i thought it'd be really really heavy but it's not either that or i'm getting stronger <laughs> and then kit for today which i'm i'm literally gonna wear when i get there and uh that's me off. So thanks for joining me on this video about packing kit, all for basic training. I am off now. So I'll let you know how the training goes when I am back. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm also mildly like shitting it a little bit just because you don't know what to expect and you don't know how you're gonna perform. But I think I'm gonna do quite well. I'd like to think that I would. So uh, wish me luck and I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye. Yeah.